Next, let's queer up politics. New survey shows LGBTQ plus issues are not the top concerns for queer voters in November election. LGBTQ plus issues may not be the main focus for queer voters in the upcoming November election, according to a new survey. Data for Progress new study revealed that LGBTQ plus issues aren't the most important things on queer voters' minds leading into the November general elections. For example, 57% of respondents had a favorable view of the Democratic Party and 51% of Biden. 20% had a favorable view of the Republican Party and 22 of Trump. 52% of trans respondents said the Biden administration is doing worse than expected. 70% of LGBTQ plus who identify as Democrats say the Democratic Party should be doing more to protect queer Americans from anti-LGBTQ plus legislation. The younger the respondent, the more likely they felt that way. Top election issues for queer adults in November election are the economy, jobs, inflation, other, and LGBTQ plus civil rights. The survey suggests LGBTQ plus voters are not single issue voters and may be especially focused on economic issues since LGBTQ plus workers continue to earn about 90 cents for every dollar heterosexual workers earn. The majority of LGBTQ plus voters, regardless of age, said they believe that neither the Republican nor the Democratic parties care much about the people about people like them. Only 61 percent of LGBTQ plus voters felt enthusiastic about voting in the 2024 election. That enthusiasm was lowest among younger voters. Zeke Stokes, a GLAAD consultant, provided context of these results, saying, quote, overall, the reason that LGBTQ people seem to vote in large numbers for Democrats is because, unfortunately, today's Republican Party has made LGBTQ equality a partisan issue. There are LGBTQ people on all places of the ideological perspective when it comes to what we would traditionally consider conservative to liberal in this country. But we've got one party, unfortunately, who's put a target on our backs in order to appeal to a minority of their base, end quote. Oh, wow, a lot to unpack there, boys, a lot to unpack there. You know, this is an election year and it's super important and we're constantly screaming from this table about how important voting is. So it makes me sad to think that more people around Nico's age, right, are basically like, hey, both parties don't represent me. Both parties don't give a shit about me, so I'm not going to vote at all. You know what I mean? You know, some people honestly think that way. Um, and, and, you know, it's a scary it's a scary time. And the younger the more that they kind of resist Biden coming in to be our president once again. Um, I'm curious as to what you both boys think. Nico? I do hope that our my generation, the Gen Z generation, does step up and realize that, hey, I mean, if you don't vote, like there's no there's no change that's going to happen. So uh, they I, I, I hope it gets better and we kind of come together and like move forward into building a better future for all of us in the future. So it's uh, very important for us to keep it going. Do you think that people are delusional, Ty? Like some people, I mean, look, 22% favorable of Republican Party and favorable of Trump. Yeah. Like we didn't get enough for four years. Did we not get enough? Like, I don't know. Who are those 22% of people? Because I need to smack them. <laughs> <laughs> get in line. Get in line. So I don't, yeah. so... Speed is the modern disease, right? And it's kind of been that way since the Industrial Revolution. And I think what we have are like a group of people, Nico's age, who are used to speed. Things happening very, very quickly. Quickly. Like and we had to go look for information in our day. Like yeah. they can just Google and know right and then. And they got there. it. And the fact that uh, it takes a long time for change to happen is built into the system right? Bureaucracy is there for a reason. And it's to sort of make us be more pragmatic and reflective about how and why we do things. But the desire to have things done right away is maybe uh, supplanting that need for bureaucracy, or maybe not supplanting the need for bureaucracy, but replacing it. Um, uh, and so it's interesting how kind of these things are coming in, these, these two ideologies are coming in and clashing with each other. Uh, I just hope that the, the folks that want that hurried change, uh, come out and vote for the way things should change. Mm. Because re regardless, as long as we have a two party system and we can argue all day whether that's good or bad or whether, you know, this is that, that and the other thing, it's what we have at the end of the day. Uh, and that's what we have to vote with at the end of the day. Do we want to change it? Sure. If you want to change it, go out there and work to change it. But you can't abandon what we have unless you have something to replace it with. Yeah.
Yeah, mm. so Nico, you need to tell like your generation to no, uh, and you know agree. it's not even funny. Like you guys need to run for office, right? You know the reality is that a lot of the stuff that we're the that we're dealing with now are things that Trump put in place during his presidency right. more than four years ago. But because again, like Ty is saying, things go at a very slow pace, and now we're feeling the effects of that. You know, we we need new blood. We need people to run for office and re and to run for our human rights, right? And to also look and represent us. For us to look and say, hey, there's a black or brown or a gay person that's up there running for office. We need all of that. Right. You know, right. and whether or not Biden's doing it fast enough or doing enough, he is doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, we can argue about the, the, the time and the place and how long it takes. But there are things moving in the direction that we want them to move in with him. Yeah. And I think that's the course we have to stay because that's the only course we have. Are we at a place where like it's it's boo boo to ask somebody if they're voting? You know how you don't talk about religion and like during like the Trump, you know, during vaccines, you didn't like get into those conversations because you didn't want to get mad at people. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like now, like, are we at to the point where it's like a little disrespectful to ask somebody if they're going to vote or not? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. OK, uh, not 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 yet. I know they stop us in college and like, hey, are you voting? Are, did you, are, you, are you registered to vote? So uh, as of now, it's it should not be anything normal. that we're hiding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It still yeah. is a civic duty. Yeah, say it loud, say it yeah. proud and go vote. All right. All right. Thank Thanks. you, Ty.